Well, love from love, hope from hope, and peace from peace. And uh, welcome. And uh, welcome to all brethren of the way of faith. So receive now hope from our living hope and peace from that forthcoming Prince of Peace, Isa Yeshua Jesus. And let the wise understand well that separately we are all like beautiful flowers, fearfully and wonderfully made by our rose of Sharon, his word, uh, our returning lily of the valley. Uh, but now, now that his word has been sent forth, uh, by his message of Malachi 3 1, through his latter day message, um, smart people of the world will clearly be able to see that only together do, do all, uh, do we all, um, we become, all together we become part of his spectacular garden of his greatest delight. Separately, we're just pretty flowers. But together, we're a beautiful garden. So receive now belief and new. Oh, there it came on. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. I'm just going to keep on going. I, uh, I I didn't expect it to come on for another 10 minutes, but uh, praise the Lord. Uh, that's got me excited because this is the second night uh, in a row that I've been filming it. And it just came on again. So uh, get get ready, people. Here we go. So know this. I'm uh, if you hear me rustling papers here, I've I've uh, got a little speech here to read about this. What you just saw. Uh, so from our eternal optimist and uh, our new, uh, he's going to bring forth new kingdom age dreams from that dream weaver of, of perfection who turns our very worst nightmares into gentle lullaby visions. And by the way, you've just seen a miracle. Uh, that light bulb came on by itself, if you didn't gather that. Um, so it's time that the worst nightmares can finally be transformed into gentle lullaby visions of his most glorious aspirations. And may all of those of love also now receive their fondest desire from that desire of the nations and increased expectations of, of from our expected one who is going to return. And I am coming to um, to the world right now with one more video concerning this current repeating miracle of the impossible being made very possible by our, our low loving sender of all that is possible. So nothing can be impossible to us. Now where I'm staying in uh, Windsor, Ontario, Canada, I have two roommates, both uh, I'm almost 60 and these guys are both older than me. And they both mock what I'm saying about this happening that you've just witnessed. Um, and um, uh, they mock what the Lord is doing to encourage me. So I, I decided to do one more video from a different angle so that people could clearly see that light coming on. Uh, and I'm sure thousands of people will recognize this as a uh, twist, twist on bulb. It, the only way you can turn it on is to twist that bulb on. Uh, so I decided to do one more video with great expectation that the Lord would turn on this light again today, um, like the video that I did yesterday. And uh, there, are, there are thousands and thousands of people all over Earth's circle who would agree with me that this type of battery-operated light can only be turned on when the bulb is twisted, since that's the technology behind such a $2 Christmas candle like this one. Uh, for the very first time, viewers, for people that haven't seen the other video from yesterday, I gotta say that this particular light has been broken for about a week and a half, and I almost threw it away since it would, would not turn on for me at all. Uh, I'd be twisting it all the way to the right, around and around and around and around, it would never connect. And all the way to the left, round and around, it just kept spinning around and around. So um, I sat it down right where you see it there just as a decoration because it's, it's glittery, it's pretty. But then it started turning itself on every night after about uh, eh, 7.20. Um, and uh, it remains on all night long and uh, uh, and it turns itself all day long. And it, it, this has been repeating itself every day for me. And it's a great encouragement for me because, uh, well... Uh, uh, know, know that this kind of thing is, is, is not new to me, though, because both my sister and I have experienced 
an electric lamp burning for us without being plugged in for at least seven minutes when we were pressing him to answer us as to whether or not he was still a God of miracles. I was standing in faith on, on uh, Isaiah 45. Uh, the word of God says clearly of things to come concerning the future of my sons and daughters and the work of my hand, command ye me, and I did. So today I, I began filming uh, roughly at about 7, uh, 10. And, and um, uh, rough, roughly now history has repeated itself for me with this light coming back on. And uh, so I, I thank the Lord that this has happened again right before the eyes of viewers. And um, so I was expecting it to come on probably in another 10 minutes, but I'm glad I turned it on just a few minutes earlier. And uh, the Lord has, he knows what he's doing. I don't understand always what he's doing. But one thing's for sure, uh, this, this, this miracle that you're seeing, it, 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 it's a sign to people that I really am who I'm claiming to be. Blessed are all those who will believe in the Lord's prophecy of Matthew 17, 11, without a sign. He said that his Elijah task servant would come and restore all things. Uh, and um, so the, the message that I am bringing is of his kingdom age word of Jeremiah 31, 1. Uh, and in that verse, it says that it would come in the latter days, right now. And uh, so uh, exactly as it is written, for in these days of COVID's trial of all flesh, uh, it was foretold to, to bring forth God's word of patience uh, so that the wise can be spared the temptation of not changing. For as one, uh, one, as one race together, the race of Adam, we cannot even begin living until we all leave our same old, same old comfort zone uh, in the name of love uh, to whom every tongue shall confess and every knee shall bow. So may his faithful few now receive adoration from, your living ador from our living adoration as he blows everyone a gentle kiss to send us all charity from that charitable one who always gives of himself uh, from his deepest heart of hearts. And as the Lord has now proved his benevolence right through this miracle, again, uh, the sign to the nations, um, now may uh, hopefulness explode within, with great trust in his latter-day promise of mercy. In these hours, uh, his word was written, Jeremiah 30, 24, for this time, uh, that says, I shall return my terrifying anger, says the Lord God Almighty, if you give me the desire of my heart that I, he prayed for in Gethsemane, our oneness and love. And if that was not possible, uh, he wouldn't have known anything that he was talking about, would he? So uh, his mercy endures forever. So let belief in his loving kindness now become a most radiant uh, light within all of us because we are not locked in uh, to a prophecy happening. Uh, prophecy has never been told to tell the future, but to change the future. And in this hour of his latter day Daniel, who I am, I have embraced my destiny exactly as Jeremiah uh, no, excuse me, I'm wixing my merge, exactly as Daniel 12, 13 foretold. And when that happens, shall be the shattering of the power of the holy people, as all canons must open to receive the Christ's message that was foretold through his latter-day messenger of Malachi 3, 1. And um, I have the Elijah task, uh, and I stand in the office of Shiloh, uh, the one uh, from Genesis 49, 12, same guy, uh, same guy as uh, the Elijah of Malachi 4, 6, same guy as the Latter-day Daniel, uh, same guy as Joshua in Jeremiah or in uh, Zechariah 3. Different names were attributed to the end-time messenger of the Lord who I am. But one thing is for sure, Shiloh, his eyes are dull and red of wine, alcoholic. Uh, and uh, another thing is sure that the vision of God that will bring forth his glory covering the earth as waters covering the sea, as uh, uh, grass covering the land, sands covering the most desolate of deserts and snow covering the Arctic and Antarctic, uh, that his word coming forth anew would save this world by bringing new understandings of his word for the veil has been ripped and no more shall the... Uh, 
we have to see uh, through a glass darkly. Uh, no more shall we know only in part. Now the wise can shine as the stars that we were created to be. And in this hour of the latter day, Daniel causing uh, the uh, shattering of the power of the holy people, it is because God's word has opened again, exactly as Daniel 12, 9 foretold, for it was only closed until the time of the end. And that is what the Bible says, if you will believe what the Bible says. And uh, so uh, all things have been mixed up and mankind has created man-made faith and God his word promises that he would tear down all the faiths, all the kingdoms of, of man, all imaginations built uh, upon a wrong understanding of his word. Uh, Jeremiah 1.10 and Haggai 2.2 2 says that. And uh, so he's coming to uh, bring forth his faith of his love and reveal that we are, the uh, that his latter house, uh, who we are, that our glory would be greater than that of the former. That's why Satan hated us so much before his removal, because the first are last and the last are first. We were created last because we are f the first order of the highest level of angelic hosts, his new hosts. And that is why the word of God says that in the hereafter, that we would all be like the angels, because we are angels. And that is why Jesus Christ said that we are as gods in John 10. That's exactly what he meant, because the truth is, people, there are no other gods, only he and the uh, Father, Son, Holy Ghost are one. Water, ice, and steam are one. Daniel, Shiloh, Joshua, um, uh, Elijah, uh, they are all one, the Latter-day Daniel. Those are just different names attributed. And I've proved in this hour that the uh, two olive trees of uh, Zechariah are totally two different uh, olive trees of the um, Revelation 11 for all prophecy people out there. Because if you look at Zechariah 3, uh, the, uh, the two olive trees are not the candlestick. The candlestick is the seven spirits of God. Uh, turning on their light. <laughs> uh, but in Revelation uh, 11, in that erasable future of Malachi, where um, Armageddon won't come and uh, where uh, uh, the Antichrist will not arise, although he has been revealed as morgue official of uh, uh, YouTube, uh, he's the sword swallower off of Revelation 13:13, 13, 13, who would die by a sword and be resurrected and become the Antichrist. But uh, people of divinity can finally believe uh, more than ever and know that um, know that as the, the first uh, prophecy of the olive trees, uh, totally separate people than the prophecy of the, uh, Revelation 11. In that prophecy of Revelation 11, the two witnesses that it talks of, they are the, the candlesticks. Uh, and that is not the case in Zechariah. The reason that is, is because the uh, two witnesses in that erasable future who do not have to come with uh, disaster and, and uh, uh, judgment, wrath of God, uh, the reason they are the two olive trees, uh, two different olive trees, is because uh, they are resurrected, Moses and uh, Elijah, the, the originals. Uh, I am the third Elijah, just as John the Baptist was the second Elijah. So um, they are the candlesticks because they've been resurrected and they have the fullness of God within their spirit. Whereas the first two from uh, uh, the book of Zechariah 4, uh, they, they are not the candlestick and God himself provides the light for them because they're just uh, people that have not yet ascended. Uh, so it is my job as the servant of Isaiah 49 to serve as the Lord's arrow of Isaiah uh, 49, as that is, is said that I was hidden in his quiver until the time of the end. And now he rides forth as the um, white horse of the apocalypse, uh, who carries a longbow just for me, and not by power nor by might, but by his spirit. Thus saith the Lord God, shall he fight against the pale, the red, and the black horse, uh, and he shall be the overcomer of overcomers, as he stirs up our love within from all people of divinity, so we can have belief uh, that many more new blessings will come forward uh, to point 
the, the clear way to our majesty of majesties, who is now sending forth uh, one and all, everyone, new understandings of his prophetic word um, as his highest heavens begin pouring out a great flood of renewed hope uh, as this great as his great white floodgates now open wide in order to pour, pour out a great mighty deluge of his living water to bring forth rekindled dreams of mankind's manifesting garden of his kingdom age because together we are his most beautiful garden um, and all of this has been born uh, and come to pass by his roaring word of incoming peacefulness for all hearers of that Lion of Zion's greatness uh, who will hear his loudest roar from Jerusalem. So praise the Lord. And, uh, by the way, when this uh, video was first uh, going, I didn't even notice the light had turned on so quickly. Uh, I was looking down at my... Uh, uh, at my uh, papers that I was reading from. And uh, so when I looked up, hey, it's on already. <laughs> so praise the Lord. He repeated it for me again. And uh, uh, one of these days, uh, you know, I would I would almost uh, be willing to t take this thing apart to prove once and for all that this thing is not, uh, I'm not going to do it. Because uh, faith is supposed to be faith. And, uh, but, you know, uh, take my word, beloved. I, I could not make this up. There's no remote control on that. It's a ban It's a battery lit candle. There's Will uh, Farrell looking at my candle. So praise the Lord. And uh, it's so exciting that the Lord is finally doing a new thing. A new thing just like he said he would do in Isaiah 43. And he's manifesting it through me and through my sister, and I, I've never been so exceedingly humble to receive his, uh, his, his light coming on, it, it, more so in my heart, because I should have been dead long ago. Um, I, if you read Zechariah 3, I was a filthy uh, uh, being when the Lord breathed upon me, and, and he, 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 he energized me to where I wrote for 20 years, all in vain. If you look at my passion of the Christ, it took me 24 hours to nail that down in recordings from the time of Palm Sunday to his ascension. 24 hours of passionate passion of Christ. And if anyone listens to it, you will agree. But uh, the world did not have boots deep enough for that kind of shit. I went out to uh, uh, members of uh, all religions, uh, primarily Christian, Islam, Judaism, and I could not get one spiritual leader anywhere to look at anything. And they all were breaking uh, by refusing me. They were all refusing the word of God. Uh, Thessalonians, Paul said, concerning the prophetic word of God, embrace uh, all that is good, in, uh, inspect it most carefully, and keep all that's good. Uh, Muhammad said, uh, no one has any ground to stand upon unless, um, unless, uh, how you say, uh, you're standing upon uh, the gospel, the law, and all revelation that comes to you from our Lord God. So uh, it's time to have patience uh, for those who are certain of the outcome. We can afford to wait, and uh, we can afford to wait without anxiety and know that uh, the worst of the worst, as mankind has been taught, is coming, will not have to happen if we will arise in love. There are two ways that we can live our life. One is though nothing is a miracle, and the other is though everything is a miracle. Uh, those are the words of Albert Einstein, who uh, was a, a prophet. And we've all been a prophet at different moments. And all people have known the Lord's inspiration at some point if their love light has been on. And we've all been born with that light on. So know that where there is great love, there are always miracles. Uh, and so it's time to believe in our hearts that we're meant to live lives full of passion, purpose, magic, and miracles. This world, the trouble with this world, it's a world of walking dead. It's a world of people with no passion, no 
zest for life. Uh, they are the uh, tares, and we must, uh, all the wheat must leave the tares by the command of the roaring lion of Zion. So know that miracles don't happen to you, they happen through you. Uh, and uh, if you don't believe in miracles, perhaps you've forgotten that you are one. Uh, so it's, it's time to rethink a lot of things. Sometimes all we can do is, is try not to think, not to wonder, not to imagine, not to obsess. Just breathe and have faith because miracles do happen. And uh, regardless if no one believes this, uh, it's captured on film again to remind people. So never stop believing in hope because miracles happen every day. And it's time for all those who believe can receive it into their heart and minds and bring new miracles to life and all around us. So we just got to do our part and be willing and ready uh, because the most incredible thing about miracles is that they actually happen and silent prayers do get answered and broken hearts do become brand new. That's what faith can do. When you dream big, miracles shall happen. And when you face your greatest opposition in this world, can't talk, uh, and when you have, uh, then you, you will find your greatest miracle uh, uh, shining th uh, through us. So uh, love from love, people. I'm just going to turn this around here for a second and uh, say goodbye. And I'm so glad that uh, people could uh, come to me. And there you can see uh, my little candle, this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. That one right there. Don't hide your light under a, a, a bushel barrel. And uh, that was a nice little song from Sunday school. But uh, people, this is... This is real. And if you don't want to believe your own eyes, don't. But you know what? This world will become a world with the kingdom age exploding. And it's going to be by my direction because I am the leader thereof. So love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our Prince of Peace who comes forth upon the great white cloud of Revelation 14. And he has brought forth his sickle of his love. He has beat it from the sword of the Spirit for his harvest. So when we do likewise and beat our swords into the plowshare, Isaiah 2, read it for yourself. In the latter days shall peace come if people will believe this messenger of love. True story.